Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and whichever time you're watching this, welcome to SSC and welcome to SSC Presents Current Affairs Quiz Show brought to you by SSC, in which we shall discuss current affairs of third week of October 2022 in MCQs, and that too is in quiz format. We have 30 MCQs to discuss. Let us take a brief session overview. First of all, we shall have 30 MCQs in quiz format, and then homework questions followed by important dates, important news, persons in news, places in news, countries in news, and at the end, bonus questions so this is this will be the session uh, we have total of 30 mcqs and i request you all to please participate in the quiz as at the end of each mcq you will be given a 10 seconds timer during which you can give the answer in the live chat box if you're watching the premium and if you if you're not watching the premium write your answers in the comment box so let us proceed so do participate in the quiz let us proceed what is the rank of India in world in terms of fish production. The first question. Your time begins now. India's rank in the world in terms of fish production. First, second, third, or fourth. The time is over. The correct answer is third rank. So recently, Union Minister of State for uh, Fisheries, Animal Husbandry, and Dairy, Dr. L. Murugan, he have recently uh, said that India stands third in the world in terms of fish production. So India is third largest fish producing and second largest aquaculture nation in the world after China. So I hope this is clear. Let's proceed to the next question. Which international organization have launched its annual nuclear exercise, which is called Steadfast Known? The options are there and your time begins now. Is it NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, Shanghai Cooperation Organization, UNESCO or UNICEF? What is the answer? The time is over. The correct answer is NATO. So NATO's exercise is steadfast known. NATO whose full form is North Atlantic Treaty Organization in which there are 30 countries as members. Its headquarter is at Belgium, Brussels and its uh, director general is Jens Stolenberg. Okay, so I hope this is clear. NATO's exercise is steadfast known. Next question. Government approved first suspension bridge across Krishna River connecting Telangana and with state. The options are there and your time begins now. So first suspension bridge across Krishna River connecting Telangana and with state. So this suspension bridge will connect Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So this suspension bridge across the Krishna River connects Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, the first suspension bridge. More details in the screen as well as on the PDF. Next, which city have bagged World Green City Award for the year 2022? The options are there and your time begins now. World Green City Award 2022. The time is over. The correct answer is Hyderabad. So Hyderabad city, which is in Telangana, it has been honored as the grand winner of International Association of Horticulture Producers World Green City Awards 2022. So I hope this is clear. More details in the screen as well as on the PDF. Let's go to the next question. The next question is, who have won gold in 2022 ISSF World Shooting Championship? The options are there and your time begins now. So World Shooting Championship, ISSF, who have won the gold. Rudrank, Bala Sahib Patil, Aishwari Pratap Singh, Manu Bhakar or Divyan Singh Power. The correct answer is Rudrank's Bala Sahib Patil. Okay, he have uh, defeated Daniel Solezu of Italy to win gold in world shooting championship more details in the screen as well as on the pdf so how to get the pdf of this session it's pretty simple now the pdf is only available at rupees 10 the uh, steps you need to follow is to click on the link in the description box and then pay only rupees 10 via any payment method after payment wait for the pdf in the google drive link to open automatically do not miss the back button and save the pdf in your device and 
you will get the PDF like this. And to get the PDF of all the sessions of SSC Sikkim, in which you shall get uh, more than 50 PDFs covering all state, national, international current affairs, it will cost you 400. I will explain this in detail in the end of this video. So next question, which country is the winner of Women Asia Cup 2022? The options are there and your time begins now. Women Asia Cup 2022, which country have won it? India, Sri Lanka, Australia or South Africa? The time is over. The correct answer to this question is India. So India have defeated Sri Lanka by 8 wickets in the final of Women's Asia Cup 2022. So India have backed this position for the 7th time. Okay. So I hope this is clear. Next question. Who have been appointed as Sweden's new Prime Minister? Sweden's new Prime Minister. The options are there and your time begins now. Stephen Lofwood, Ulf Christeresson, uh, Gustav V or Magdalena Anderson. The correct answer to this question is Ulf Christeresson. So Ulf Christeresson is the new Prime Minister of Sweden. More details in the PDF. Next. Which country is hosting 98th General Assembly of Interpol? International Police Organization. Okay, Interpol. So 98th General Assembly. Which country will be hosting? Japan, China, United States or India? The correct answer is India. So India will be hosting 98th General Assembly of Interpol and that will be going to be held in New Delhi. Okay, remember the city as well. Okay, the venue uh, can also be asked. And before uh, this, uh, India hosted this in 1997. Okay, more details on the screen. Next. Who have won Britain's Booker Prize 2022? The options are there and your time begins now. Britain's Booker Prize 2022. Sehan Karuna Tilaka, Saurabh Kothari, Mike Russell or Peter Gilchrist. The time is over. The correct answer is Sehan Karuna Tilaka, uh, who is from Sri Lanka. Okay, Sri Lankan author. He have won this Britain Booker's Prize 2022 for fiction. Okay, and the name of the work, the name of the book for which he have won this prize is The Seven Moons of Mali Almaida. Okay, more details on the screen. Next, who became the youngest to beat world chess champion Magnus Carlsen? Okay, world chess champion Magnus Carlsen. Somebody have defeated him, the youngest one. Who is he or she? K. Sasikaran, Praveen Thipse, Digukes or Suri Ganguly. The time is over. The correct answer is D. Gukes, whose full name is Donorama Gukes. Okay, he is a chess grandmaster from India and he has scripted history by defeating Magnus Carlsen in AIM Chess Rapid Online Tournament. Okay, becoming the youngest person ever to beat Magnus Carlsen, who is the current world champion. Okay, and before this, uh, Pragnananda from India only, another grandmaster from India, he had held this record and he was 16 years and 6 months old to uh, beat num world number one. But now, uh, D. Gukes have broken Pragnananda's record by defeating Magnus Carlsen at 16 years, 4 months and 20 days. Okay, 2 months difference. So, D. Gukes is the youngest to defeat Magnus Carlsen. Next, who have become first Indian woman to run sub 13 hurdle? The options are there and your time begins now. Sub 13 hurdle. Jyoti Yaraji, Hima Das, Duti Chand or Naomi Osaka. The time is over. The correct answer is Jyoti Yarji. She is an Indian sprinter and she has made history in women's 100 meter hurdles as she became the first Indian woman to run a sub 13th uh, time to win the gold medal at the National Games 2022. So I hope this is clear. Let's go to the next question. In which railway station did Union Railway Minister Aswini Vasnav inaugurate? India's first aluminium freight read. Okay, the answer is here only. Okay, let's skip this question. The correct answer is Bhubaneswar. I forgot to delete the answer. Okay, so we are skipping this question. One bonus marks for you. Okay, the correct answer is uh, Bhubaneswar only. Next, Bhubaneswar. Okay, more details you can see on the screen. Uh, who is the winner of 
men's ballon d'or award 2022 the options are there the ballon d'or is an annual football award presented by the french news magazine and the name of the magazine is france football okay and it has been presented since 1956 so the options are there a men's ballon d'or 2022 who have won it robert lewandowski cristiano ronaldo karim benzema or mohammed salah the correct answer is Karim Benzina, who is a player from Real Madrid team and he has won men's Ballon d'Or award for the first time. Okay, so this is it and he is also the fifth Frenchman to claim prize. Okay, so Karim Benzema is from France. So remember it, more details on the screen. Uh, in the next, uh, let us see some uh, this Ballon d'Or men's as we saw that uh, Karim Benzema have won it. Ballon d'Or woman Alexia Putillas from Barcelona. Copa award won by Gavi from Barcelona. And there are other awards as well you can see on this uh, screen as well as on the PDF. Okay, you'll definitely get it in PDF let's go to the next question national maritime heritage complex is being built in which state the options are there and your time begins now national maritime heritage complex is built in which state madhya pradesh himachal pradesh gujarat or andhra pradesh the time is over the correct answer is gujarat okay so national maritime heritage complex will be built in gujarat more details on the pdf next who has won India's first Greco Roman medal in under 23 wrestling world championship? The options are there, and your time begins now. Greco Roman, India's first Greco Roman medal in under 23 world championship. The answer is Sajan Bhawala. Okay, India's Greco Roman wrestler who is Sajan Bhawala. He have bagged a historic bronze medal in 77 kg division or category. More details on the PDF. Next, who is named as the new controller general of account? Extremely important. New CGA. Okay, these are the kind of questions which have the high probability to come in exams. So the options are there and your time begins now. Soma Roy Burman, Deepak Das. Bharti Das or Achana Nigam CGA. It's not CAZ, it's CGA. Okay, they are two different CAZ and CGA. This one is CGA, and the new CGA is Bharti Das. Okay, previous early uh, before uh, Bharti Das, uh, it was Deepak Das who held this post. Okay, till 31st of uh, january 2022 and now the new cga is bharati das so i hope this is fine let's proceed to the next question who is the host of afc asian cup 2023 the options are there on the screen and your time begins now host of afc asian cup 2023 qatar south korea japan or china the time is over the correct answer is qatar okay qatar will be hosting afc asian cup 2023 more details on the pdf next what is the name of united nations secretary general who visited india recently i think you all can answer this the options are there so who is the current united nations secretary general who have also visited india recently The correct answer to this question is Antonio Guterres. Okay, Antonio Guterres uh, recently visited India and he is the current Secretary General of United Nation. Okay, uh, who is Tedros Adhanam? Who is in the first option? Please write down. Okay, he is also a uh, head of very important organization, Tedros Adhanam. I think you all know it as well. So please write. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. Who is the new Revenue Secretary of India? New Revenue Secretary of India. So the time begins now and the options are already on the screen. Sanjay Malhotra, Aditya Sinha, Vivek Agarwal or Asis Satija. The correct answer is Sanjay Malhotra. So Sanjay Malhotra who is a 1990 batch IS officer from Rajasthan cadre. He is the new revenue secretary and whom he has replaced. This is important. He has replaced Tarun Bajaj. Okay. Who will superannuate which means who will leave the post at the end of november so sanjay malhotra is the new revenue secretary of india who is the home secretary of india by the way please write in the comment box or in the chat box home secretary okay this has been asked in many exams home secretary of india so there are many secretaries like uh, right 
like a uh, home secretary defense secretary so this this one is a revenue secretary okay there are many other secretaries foreign secretary foreign secretary also was recently changed so you all need to remember the name of the uh, secretaries especially the recent ones okay who have got replaced like the like this one uh, revenue secretary is sanjay malhotra instead of tarun bazaar the next question what is the rank of india among 44 nations in pension index the options are there and your time begins now 44 nations in pension index 48th 42nd 43rd or 44th the time is over the correct answer is as compared to the 48th in 2021 india has ranked 41 out of 44 countries okay a slight uh what do we say uh increase or no decrease in ranking okay like in uh, the performance has got slightly worsened in terms of pension index as last year it was 40th and now it is 41 out of 44 countries okay so this is it so, uh, next question is what is the mascot of fifa women's world cup 2023 this is also very important mascot okay mascot which which means the lucky symbol the options are there and your time begins now tip and tap jabiwaka the zuni or zakumi the time is over the correct answer is tazuni okay tazuni is a fun football loving penguin and it has been unveiled as the official mascot which means the lucky symbol of fifa women's world cup and which is going to be hosted by australia and new zealand in uh, 2023 which is the upcoming year so okay so remember the venue as well uh, fifa women's world cup 2023 will be hosted by australia and new zealand and the mascot is uh tazuni okay so this is it let's proceed to the next question who has been named as country's most generous philanthropist the options are there and your time begins now philanthropist the greatest giver okay the greatest uh donation giver the correct answer is Siv Nadar. okay Siv Nadar is the founder of hcl and he have topped as the most general generous person in the country with an annual donation of rupees 1161 crore the adil give hurun india philanthropist 2022 revealed you know on an average if you calculate he is donating three crore per day right three crore per day so he must be the country's most generous philanthropist right so this is it let's proceed to the next question what is the theme of ninth world ayurveda congress which government of uh, goa is hosting okay world ayurveda congress uh, the options are there and your time begins now ayurveda the solution ayurveda for one health ayurveda the belief or ayurveda for all the correct answer is ayurveda for one health option number uh, it's not c it's option b okay option b ayurveda for one health so this is it uh, this uh, world ayurveda congress is going to be uh, going to happen in uh, goa okay it's not i was like confused with goa it's goa okay so it was written in capital letters so i thought that it's some kind of abbreviation so goa is hosting this uh, world ayurveda congress and the theme of this ninth world ayurveda congress is ayurveda for one health so i hope this is clear let's proceed to the next question which government kicked off the campaign diye jalao patake nahi for the green diwali the options are there and your time begins now uh, okay the answer got revealed okay let's leave this the answer is delhi okay so delhi government kick, kicked off this campaign the is allow patake nahi okay two bonus uh marks for you right uh, before this also one question got like this only so next question india's first migration monitoring system inaugurated at which place india's first migration monetary system the options are there delhi mumbai kolkata or pune india's first migration monitoring system the answer is mumbai okay so india's first migration monitoring system was inaugurated at mumbai more details on the pdf next which former cricketer has been named as the brand ambassador of t20 world cup for the blind okay t20 world cup for the blind brand ambassador who is it the options are there and your time begins now 
सचिन तेंदुलकर युवराज सिंह वीरेंद्र सहवाग और सुरेश रैना कुछ वन ऑफ दिस क्रिकेट इज द ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप फॉर द ब्लाइंड the time is over the correct answer is yuvraj singh okay so the cricket association for the blinds of india cabi have announced former indian cricketer yuvraj singh as the brand ambassador for the third t20 world cup for the blind to be held in india in december okay this is a kind of very unique news i i never heard that there is something called blind cricket as well but then it is a very uh, good news to listen okay so this is it let's proceed to the next question red bull formula 1 racing team owner have passed away recently what is his name and is also the owner of the energy drink red bull okay uh, who was the owner he recently passed away the options are there tulsi tanti robi koltrane डाइट्रिक मतिस्ट्रेस और अमाउ हजी रेडबुल फॉर्मुला वन रेसिंग टीम ओके द टीम विच बाई लिविस हेमिल्टन प्लेस ओके लिविस हेमिल्टन और आई थिंक मैक्स विस्टपन ओके लिविस हेमिल्टन इज आई थिंक बी बिलोंग्स टू मर्सिडीज मैक्स विस्टपन प्लेस फ्रॉम रेडबुल एंड द ओनर ऑफ रेडबुल टीम एंड ऑल्सो द ओनर ऑफ रेडबुल एनर्जी ड्रिंक इज इज नॉट वॉज डाइट्रिक Matheses who recently passed away. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Let's proceed to the second last question. United Nations Day was celebrated on which of these day? United Nations Day. The options are there, and your time begins now. Twenty fourth of October, twenty fifth of October, twenty sixth, or twenty seventh of October. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is twenty fourth of October. Okay, United Nations was formed on uh, in the year nineteen forty five on twenty fourth October, and every year uh, this twenty fourth October is celebrated or observed as United Nations Day. So this year, this also, this year also, it was observed. Okay, in twenty twenty two. So I hope this is fine. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, this is the second last question. Where did Home Minister Amit Shah launched? first hindi version of mbb scores books okay first hindi version of mbb scores book before this only uh, hindi version of this course books were not available but now first hindi version of mbb scores books have been launched and in this place the correct answer is madhya pradesh okay home minister amit shah have launched mbb scores books in hindi version at bhopal in madhya pradesh it is the first ever hindi version of mbb scores books and and yeah so more details on the pdf let's go to the last question of today what is the name of integrated pensioners portal launched for the central government pensioners so the options are there and your time begins now don't make a hurry to leave this session okay we have lot of bonus questions to discuss as well kalyan sankalp jeevan or bhavishya so the correct answer is bhavishya okay bhavishya is the name of this pension portal so with this we complete all 30 questions please write down your answers that how much did you score out of 30 of course two questions were bonus for you okay the answers were already there so with this we complete let's go to homework questions okay we have few homework questions to discuss and uh, i'll give you the questions and if you know the answer please write uh, now only and if you don't know then you can just research and you can come back and write the answers later the first question first homework question uh, which brand has been recognized as world's number one basmati rice brand the options are on the screen prime minister modi has launched mission life in which state life life the options are on the screen who has been named as the new defense secretary by the government of india the options are on the screen defense secretary important we just discussed revenue secretary in the quiz okay so this is equally important climber elnaz rekabi who was reportedly besing belongs to which country the options are there which company surpassed bsnl to become the largest landline service provider the options are there and fifth khelo india youth games 2022 will be held in which state the options are there and i think the last one is which city in the united states has announced 
public school holiday on Diwali from 2023. So these are the bonus questions. Uh, you will get the answers to all these questions in the PDF. Okay, the answers are there. And to get the PDF, I was saying you need to click on the link in the description and you need to pay only rupees 10 for this session's PDF. And uh, after payment, wait for the PDF in the Google Drive link to open automatically. Do not press the back button and save the PDF in your device as the PDF will be lost. And to get uh, all state, national, international current affairs, it will cost you 400 of all the sessions in SSC Sikkim. You get past one month, uh, one year Sikkim current affairs, past six months national, international current affairs. Sikkim current affairs, about 400 MCQs, January to September, past year Sikkim GK solved and all for the current affairs sessions and important topics PDF for the next six months for this you need to send a message to this whatsapp number as you can see on the screen now let us discuss uh, 25 bonus questions okay very very important bonus questions uh next first question is which is the only state to achieve jal jeevan uh, mission target for 2022 if you want to answer to this question there, there are no timers for this okay you can just pause the screen answer and then uh, resume the video okay so if you want to participate uh, so the correct answer to this question is tamil nadu okay tamil nadu is the only state to achieve jal jeevan mission target for 2022 next which state have backed the top position in the uh, category of big states in the public affairs index 2022 the answer is haryana who is hosting SCO National Coordinators Meet, Shanghai Cooperation Organization National Coordinators Meet, India will be hosting it. Okay. Next, ISRO is set to launch what in August 2023? The answer is Chandrayaan 3. Okay, Chandrayaan 3 will be launched in August 2023. Who is the author of the book, The Philosophy of Modern Song, which was published recently? The answer is Bob Dylan. Okay, Bob Dylan is the author of The Philosophy of Modern Song. Who appointed who has been appointed as the 58th chief justice of india i think you all know it it's justice dy chandrachud okay before this it was uday umes lalit and before this it was nv ramana next living planet report 2022 has been released by which institution it's released by worldwide fund women's india premier league okay women's ipl it's set to take place in which year it's in 2023 next year who has been elected as the president and co-president of international solar alliance it's india is the president and france is the co-president okay next which of the two countries has emerged as the final bidders to host 2027 edition of the afc asian cup the answer is india and saudi arabia next indigo embassy sorry indian embassy in which country have organized its annual flagship culture program known as sarang the answer is south korea okay south korea next kati bihu is the harvest festival celebrated in which state or union territory it's assam okay kati bihu is celebrated in assam it's an annual harvest festival in assam next what is india's score in in the internet freedom score internet freedom 2022 okay it's not rank but score it's 51 okay so 51 next serbian uh, scientists have named a species of beetle after which tennis star okay beetle species it's after novak zukovic okay novak zukovic serbian player serbian tennis player the draft of the national credit framework for the public consultation has been launched under which ministry it has been launched under ministry of education next Union Agriculture Minister, who happens to be Narendra Singh Tomar, have announced that the central government will, will launch a DAS accelerator program to support the productive ideas of agribusinesses. So, what is the amount? It's 500 crore rupees accelerator program. Next, which of the following state has increased quota for scheduled caste and scheduled tribe? It's Karnataka. Next. As per the Global Multidimensional Poverty Index 2022, the largest number of poor people in the world in 2022 lived in which country? They lived in India. Next, which state have launched a website that lists uh, the most polluting industrial units? It's Jharkhand. Okay, Jharkhand have uh, launched a website. What is India's rank in list of centi millionaires? Centi millionaires uh, means whose net worth is above hundred million dollars. It's uh, India's rank is third. Okay, third. Next, 
who have won melt water champions chess tour 2022 it has been won by magnus carlsen next which of the following is a military exercise conducted by india and us i think we have discussed it a lot of time it's tiger thrump okay tiger thrump malabar is exercise of quad group okay coordinations so this is it next which is heaviest rocket uh, rocket launched by isro indian space research organization which ensures isro's entry into global commercial launch service market the answer is lvm3 okay it's the heaviest rocket launched by isro lvm3 so i hope this is fine next india finds uh, to whom rupees uh, 1337 crores for abusing its domain position india have fined google okay google has been fined by india so next the last question is which cyclone hit densely populated area in bangladesh indian region uh, affected uh, recently it's uh, sitrang okay the name of the cyclone was sitrang which hit uh, bangladesh okay densely populated area in bangladesh and indian region so i hope this is clear we finish bonus questions now uh, let's see important dates you can pause the screen and have a look at these dates okay i will just quickly skip through the slides uh, more than the dates uh, please have a close look on the themes because these days especially in the space uh, from the days themes are asked okay uh, go through any previous year question paper you will see that many themes have been asked from important days so like here you can see the theme of world osteoporosis day was uh, step up for bone health okay uh, 2022 theme 20th october so like this just go through the themes okay we don't have time to discuss all this uh, let's see persons in news uh, you can just go through the slide pause the video don't worry you'll all get this in the pdf or you can just see from here as well by pausing the video persons in news okay there are so many persons in news okay and this may be asked right uh, these are the places in news now okay Gwalior, Vijayawada, Gandhinagar, Kerala, Atlantis all these places with in news in the third week of October 2022 so have a look by pausing the screen places in news and these are the countries in news okay there are only four countries in the list right now japan bangladesh pakistan and myanmar have a look at this as well so here you can see that uh, fatf which is financial action task force has put myanmar on the blacklist due to diligence in business relations so this can be asked right which country has been put into blacklist by fatf recently so these kind of questions can be asked from this kind of places in news so you can just have a look so let's see important news i'll also just go through the topics you can pause the screen and have a look pm modi have launched pradhan mantri jan urvarak pariyojana bharatiya jan urvarak pariyojana us congressman introduced resolution to recognize pakistani atrocities during 1971 as genocide icc ties up with unicef to promote gender equality logistics performance index 2022 lists 15 states as achievers inventive okay this is important inventive it's uh, uh, and all iits and research and development showcase launched by education minister and this was launched at iit delhi okay at the indian institute of technology delhi this inventive was launched okay so it can be asked that inventive was launched in which iit okay i have seen questions from iit and spc so just have a look Aria.az and FWWB India partnered with UNDP to implement Project Excel. PowerX 2022 joint cyber security exercise conducted by CERT in and Power C uh, CERTs. India lifted 415 million people out of poverty in 15 years. Okay, this you can pause the screen and read this news. Union cabinet approves MSP hike for all mandate Harabi crops. PM Kisan Samman Sammelan 2022 launched by PM Modi. Indus Water Treaty World Bank appoints Chairman of Court of Arbitration. Okay, uh, one is Chairman, a neutral expert has been uh, appointed who is Michael Lino, and another is Sean Murphy has been appointed as the Chairman. So just have a look at these 
as well. Uh, CASC, okay, CASC is a company. It ties up with IRCTC, okay, Indian Railways, IRCTC, to launch Travel Now Pay Later facility. Okay, this can be asked, okay, uh, CASC, who have tied up with IRCTC, so they can ask this way. Fintech platform PhonePay launched its first green data center in India. So I've seen this kind of questions, okay, like uh, recently in one of the SPAC's previous year papers, it was asked that which of the following fintech company have uh, I just forgot the question, but it was something related to phone pay, Google Play, uh, Google Pay, Flipkart, or something. So these kind of questions have also been asked. Okay, so you cannot skip this. So thank you so much. With this, we complete the session. I hope you uh, got benefit from this session. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to SSC Second. We'll meet in the next video. Bye bye.